Welcome to Season Chasers. I'm Rob Freeman. Those that love nature and outdoor sports spend a lot of quality time looking for adventure throughout the year. The more you study, the more you learn about the peak seasons in nature. It's fun to know when it's best to go fishing or hunting, when it's time to pick blueberries, wild mushrooms, or native pecans. Sometimes the peak season is close to home, right in your own backyard, or it could be miles away near the mountains and the sea. Either way, this program will chase the seasons where the action is hot. The season is spring. It's April in southeast Kansas. We've waited long enough for the opening of the spring wild turkey season. Today, we'll share crossbow hunts with Steve and Jerry and Joey and Mason's hunt during the shotgun season. You might just enjoy seeing some of the crazy things that turkeys do this time of year. We're hunting near a feeder and sometimes with really realistic decoys. Come along today as we study, learn, and share turkey time at Pawnee. It's a windy April morning and the pollen is flying. Steve and I are out in the box blind near an automatic corn feeder at the edge of the woods. We aren't there very long before three nice jakes popped out of the woods from right behind us. Jakes are immature male turkeys from last year's hatch. It's amazing to me how large these birds grow in less than a year. Steve thinks the one in the middle looks like a keeper and he prepares to launch a crossbow bolt. That shot hit the ground low, but with the gusty winds, the Jakes only noticed where it hit the ground and not where the bolt sound came from. And unlike a shotgun blast, these Jakes didn't run too far. They quickly returned to the corn, leaving Steve just enough time to prepare for a second shot. Inside the box, we're doing our best to reload. We have one more bolt with a broadhead, and we're hoping that we get a second chance. At this point, the one in the middle is about 30 yards away, and that's close enough for a well-placed shot with the crossbow. We can see that one of the birds was squarely hit, but even after a second shot, the other two were still close by. By now we're down to a target bolt that we carry to discharge the crossbow at the end of the day. It's all we have if Steve wants to fill the second tag. After watching about 15 minutes, we don't see the Jakes behind the thicket anymore, and we figure it's time to go out and try to find the one he hit.
out there, Steve. I don't know, but it's heavy. <laughs> Let's set the gun, or set the crossbow down and see what you got there, buddy. We had three of them come in. We watched them for about 15 minutes or so, hoping they'd come back around so I could get my second one, but it didn't work. One out of three is not bad. Good shot. Those other two didn't want to leave, did they? No. Well, that's a nice tender jake there and a nice big one too. Good job, Steve. I think he's about 20 pounds. All right, well, that's a real nice one. And Another pony wildlife turkey. Coming in with the others to the corn cafe. Back that baby out. All of a sudden, three Jakes show up to my right, come in from a different angle, walk out, take a look at them very carefully and shoot. And I missed the first shot, then waited on them, and they came, sure enough, they came back, and I took a very slow shot on the next one, hit it, and then they headed off towards the brush and for about the next 15 minutes we watched them hoping they'd come back so possibly get the second one. But uh, when we got there this one was pretty quiet wasn't he? Yes he was laying there just nonchalant. Well that's a really nice bird and we got up on a windy morning after a big storm here and well you got quite a bit to show for it here. Good job Steve. Thanks sir. Appreciate it. How close do you suppose those three walked to us uh, when they came up from behind us? They were probably six, eight feet from where I was sitting. <laughs> but they were pretty intent on uh, getting under that feeder, weren't they? Yes, they were. They didn't even look at us. <laughs> All right, we're glad they came in close. This one's going to Dunkirk. More spring turkey action from southeast Kansas. Coming up next on Season Chasers. When it's time to buy a better boat, Albers is the place to get your best deal on a new Tracker or Nitro. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas. Trade up to a new Tracker. Ready for the lake. Powered by Mercury Outboards. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas. Your ticket to the great outdoors is Tracker from Albers Marine. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas, your tracker and nitro boats dealer, North Highway 69, Arma, Kansas. They're counting down the days till spring at Blue Ribbon Farm and Home. Now's the time to prepare your garden for the spring weather ahead. Blue Ribbon has hundreds of varieties of top quality garden seed so you can get started. Whether you have a lap dog, a sport dog, chickens or a goofy goat. Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has all the feeds you'll ever need. You talk about a goofy goat and this is the goofy goat right here. Extreme environments can cause a spontaneous change in DNA resulting in unexpected power and agility. Introducing the all-new, all-powerful Gator RSX 850i. 62 horsepower, a fully independent multi-link suspension, and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. It's a whole new species of gator.
on this morning, I get to go along with Jerry, an experienced crossbow hunter who always brings some incredibly lifelike decoys. It's not too windy this time, and we hope between the corn, the decoys, Jake and Mary Lou, and some strategic calling, we might just get something going. We get a nearby reply, but this Tom just keeps gobbling and hangs up about a hundred yards away, which is just out of range. A strutting Tom hopes to catch the eye of a hen, then have the hens join him. Well, our decoy Mary Lou looked pretty real, but it won't walk over to that Tom. In the distance, Jerry and I see three real hens meet up with the gobbling Tom. Then they head off in a different direction. Next, we get a visit in the corn from a lone hen. At a feeding spot like this, real hens sometimes react differently to Jerry's decoys, Jake and Mary Lou. At the very least, this moving, feeding, real hen add some priceless realism to our non-moving decoys. Jerry hopes that the next Tom in the area sees a Jake with two hands, then runs in to break things up. That's the plan anyway, so we wait, we watch, and listen. As the real hen moseys on over to Jake and Mary Lou, the decoys, we wonder if she'll be agreeable or aggressive. This hen seems to be quite comfortable around Jake and Mary Lou, but that's not always the case. This hen is really secure and relaxed when you see it feeding and grooming so close to the decoys. Jake and Mary Lou are her new friends. Jerry and I remember last year when another hen got really mean with poor Mary Lou. We figured that this dominant hen wanted Mary Lou out of her corn, but all the commotion ended up calling in a crowd and a shooter for Jerry.
In some states, hunting over corn is against the rules. It's permitted here in Kansas, and we figure that we feed about 50 birds for every one that's harvested here. In Kansas, we get a hunt all day, and we use all legal methods to get the shooters in close. These two came in last year, hoping to pick a fight with Jake, and we're hoping to repeat some of this activity later on today. Mary Lou and this hen are getting along quite well by now. A couple of jakes show up at the plum thicket. They check out the scene real closely before venturing out into the open. As the jakes tiptoe around the corn, from stage left, a nice tom comes in, staring at that jake decoy, apparently ready for a fight. Kansas long beard. He's got two beards. He's got a double bearder. How's the spurs? Uh, he's a two-year-old, about an inch. Now, how many birds did we get to see today? I think we had 20 come in. <laughs> oh, he's got he's got full inch spurs. Yeah. That's, that's more than two years old. Oh yeah, look here, it's a double, maybe. Yep. More, let's see if there's more than one. More than two. There's two. Woo woo, look at that, a double beard. Good job, Jerry, man, that's a good one. Look at these spurs here. This one's a little shorter. Yeah, here's that, well, that's, a, that's a full one, uh, inch there. Yep. Cool. Yeah, the crossbow does a number on these birds. <laughs> he did what he went about 15 feet maybe. <laughs> Hold that bad boy up. That's your first one with a double beard out here? Yep, first first Kansas bird of the season. One down, one to go. Now that other one hung up over there and he didn't want to come in like this one did. Nope, this one was committed. He saw that Jake and Mary Lou and came right in. So how far do you suppose he was from the decoy when you went ahead and launched that bolt? Oh, he was right on the decoy. That was a 15 yard, 20 yard shot. Got a nice full tail. I saw that one coming. I said, here's the big one. Yep. <laughs> and he didn't hesitate. He kind of fanned a couple times coming in, but he didn't make much noise, but that don't matter, does it? Nope. Well, why don't we get him in the shade and See if we get another one. Put a tag on him. Good job. I've been up here in Kansas and uh, the weather wasn't uh, just so good the first couple days, but uh, I think you've uh, had a pretty good, pretty good morning today. Oh yeah, it's definitely exciting. Lots of action. Lots of turkeys. Now earlier today, uh, you saw this one really early, and. Uh, 
How many times did you see them through the course of the morning? to about eight o'clock, shut up, and then uh, we seen him about 250 yards across the field in full strut with another hen. And when he came closer, about nine o'clock, he got within about 100 yards, couldn't get a shot on him, he didn't come close enough. So then about, he left, we stood up and we saw him again out there strutting, we watched him for about 45 minutes. And uh, we seen him making his way to the left. How close were uh, were you when you got your shot? About 50 yards. Probably about 50 yards. Pretty good shot. The tough shot, but knocked him down in one shot. That's the last time that turkey hangs up on us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, glad you cured him of it. You know, uh, all the other birds you saw were pretty much hens today, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Saw had, a bunch of hens. Had eight hens within 15 yards of us. And uh, he probably had four or five hens with him, right? Yeah. Right with yeah. his shot. He had four hens with him. Ain't nothing better though than a big old Easter. All right, so you guys got some more tags. So uh, you think there's some bigger than that out there? I don't know about weight wise. This is a big turkey. I'd like to know how much it weighs. <laughs> this guy's here. He's up next. Yep. Let's see if I can't get this on. We'll see. Got about two and a half more days we figured this one's a three-year-old because it's got full one-inch spurs and what about that beard on him? That beard was ten inches. Ten inches, yep. And it didn't look any bigger like that than before you shot him, did it? Oh, he was pretty big. Oh, he was, I knew it was a big <laughs> turkey big. though when it was coming across that field. I knew it was a big old turkey. Big. Well, I've heard some people say that their beards shrink after, just after you shoot them. <laughs> I hear that too. <laughs> Not this one, huh? No. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, good beard on him. Look at the colors on him, though, man. That sun hit him. Look at all his wings. Yeah, you can see where he's been strutting on the ground. Feather's been cut off. He was strutting his butt off, that's for sure. He ain't strutting no more. <laughs> well, we hope he got a whole lot of breeding done before. Uh, you brought them up here to the parking lot, but uh, good job, fellas, and uh, good team effort. And, yes, and uh, got a uh, plan for those other tags, too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Good job. Nice bird, guys. Yeah, I'm glad we got that. Before we run out of time today, here are some special previews of next week's show when we're out chasing Oklahoma Spoonbill. Hang on, Pete, Randy. <laughs> there you go. Woo well, I should have just came with my rain suit and everything on, huh? <laughs> Those right. fish abusing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm learning a lesson today. I'm getting a lot of lessons, I think. <laughs> you drag a little bit on there, the star drag. Yeah. That's not really good. Good. He ran from the water. That's a fish. Keep your line tight. Don't let it go out like that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I got me one. Oh, yeah. Is this the best one you ever had on? Uh, yes, definitely. Oh, fight him fair. Let him too. fight fair. No! Listen to your drag. Keep your line tight, brother. That was right under the bridge, wasn't it? Woo! Yeah. He's already broken somebody off yeah. today. Look at that. So we don't use two hooks on our no. legs. Whoa! Shit. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> I, I got him. Be in the boat and then get back I got out. him, son. You got him hooked in. Whatever that happened there. That's... You gonna land him again? Yeah. 
a good picture of that one. <laughs> First ever paddle fish. Let me take a picture. Hold yeah, on. I'd like to have one. Hand so up and take a picture. Of I could send him to Hand my up. son. Watch. First ever. So what do you think about these paddle fish? <laughs> it's fun. You don't know for sure if you're in one. You might be in the log, but once you get him going, uh, he... Give me a smile. How could you not smile after catching a fish like that? Oh, brother. Good job. Right Probably on, Randy. Biggest fish I've caught. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Look, look at him there. throw that great big one back. Yeah. But so far, that's the best one you ever had on. Yeah. Huh? I know Step. what it feels like. Yep. You get used to it. Well, maybe. I thought it was a log. And then when it pulled me back, about jerked me out of the back of the boat, <laughs> I, I knew it was a fish then. All right. That's great. Thank you. That's fun. And I got a. That's the Oklahoma pole bender right yes, there. Yes, it was. It's the best one I ever had on. It's the Oklahoma pole benders, boys. Did you get your tag renewed for May? <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh, fishing illegally. I can't worry about it now, sir. <laughs> Keep your line tight. I'm trying, son. They're in here. This hard on no man's back. They're just in the day. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, son. Get him up here. Woo! I'm tagged That's out. A big one. I'm tagged That's a out, one. brother. A scar on that thing. Yeah. He too big for anybody else to catch, son. Good one. Waka waka. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows. Outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure. Being on the lookout for natural foods and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with someone who's important to you.